Hi there everyone, welcome to the video lecture series on double integration, I am Mayur Gohil. In this video lecture we shall be learning to formulate the double integral with the help of the theory that we had seen in our previous video lecture. And we shall also be learning to understand the type of the region whether it is type 1, type 2 or a um, combination of the two. Alright, let us see a question regarding the same. The question says, detect the type of region, type 1, type 2, both or none, and we are supposed to write the double integral for the same. Okay. First of all, observe the region given to us. The region is a closed region. It is a triangle with the vertices 2, 0, b 0, 2, and c 2, 4. Okay. We are supposed to first find the equation of each of the side of the triangle. So we go for finding that. Observe here that a is 2 comma 0 and b is 0 comma 2. a 2 comma 0 is the x intercept and b 0 comma 2 is the y intercept. So by using double point uh, uh, double intercept formula we get x by 2 plus y by 2 equals to 1 as the equation of a b. This when simplified further it will be giving us x plus y equals to 2. Okay. We write down this equation on the diagram for our better understanding. Okay. Now we can find the equation of AC by mere observation because it's a vertical line and A is 2 comma 0 and C is 2 comma 4. So the equation is going to be x equals to 2. We write down this equation on the diagram again. Okay. Now this equation can be could have been also found with the help of the double point formula. Okay. Um, now for the equation of BC we use double point formula. That is x minus 2 over 2 minus 0 equals to y minus 4 over 4 minus 2. And when we simplify this further it gives us x minus y equals to minus 2. We write down this equation on the diagram. Okay. Now we have to detect that whether the region is a type 1 region or a type 2 region. Type 1 region can be detected with the help of the theory and it said that we are supposed to pass a vertical line from the region. Okay. So let us pass a vertical line passing from the region. Okay. So when we see we have drawn this vertical line observe here it enters the region at x plus y equals to 2 okay so here we see that I am putting this red dot and it is exiting the region at this line at this blue dot which I am going to highlight here okay now it also said one very important statement that was we have to remember that the line enters and exits the entry point and the exit point remain same throughout the region. Now what do I meant by that? I, sh I shall try showing it here with the help of an ex animation. Let us see the animation. See the in the animation what I have tried to show is that the red dot remains always on the line x plus y equals to 2 and the blue dot always remained on the line x minus y equals to minus 2. Okay, so that is the point that I tried to refer in the theory. Okay, that was in the English language but this is this animation is supposed to run in our mind so that we can imagine it. So this topic basically is going to test our imaginative skills also how can we understand them but with the help of the animation I have tried to guide that. Okay, so let me write down here when I pass the straight line it is entering here the region at this red dot right so the red dot the equation is x plus y equals to 2 okay and this x plus y equals to 2 can be written as y equals to 2 minus x okay now the line is ent exiting the region at this blue dot 
at the blue dot the equation of the line is x minus y equals to minus 2 okay so x minus y equals to minus 2 and this further can be simplified and written as y equals to x plus 2 okay now since we have passed a vertical line and all the conditions of type 1 region are being satisfied so I claim that this is the type 1 region okay. now this being type 1 region as per the theory that we had seen what we can do further is we are going to now find the projection of the region the observe here the projection is nothing but the shadow of the region on x-axis okay right now because it is type 1 we shall take the shadow on x-axis so on x-axis the shadow of the region is going to be from origin to point A okay so on origin the x coordinate is 0 and at point A the x coordinate is 2 so the shadow is basically from 0 to 2 okay so the projection ba is basically on the x-axis is OA okay and the limits are the x coordinates of O and x coordinate of A so let us see how to write now uh, the double integral now to write the double integral observe that we do not have the function given with us so we keep the function in general so we keep it as f of x comma y because now we have said that it is the type 1 region we are going to write the differential in the order dy dx okay. now when I say dy dx the innermost integral is supposed to have the limits of variable y for the variable y limits we have already passed the line and we have seen that it enters at y equals to 2 minus x okay y equals to 2 minus x so the lower limit is going to be the equation of the line y equals to 2 minus x so here you will have y equals to 2 minus x now the upper limit of y is going to be the region upper boundary or the exiting point so the exit point is blue dot here and at that point the equation was y equals to x plus 2 okay so the upper limit for y is y equals to x plus 2 now for limits of x okay because the outer limit uh, outer differential is dx so the outer integral will have limits of x and they are going to be the projection limits we have already seen the projection limits are x equals to 0 to x equals to 2 so the lower limit is going to be x equals to 0 and the upper limit for x is going to be x equals to 2 okay now this is a very uh, basic way of writing the double integral okay now more sophisticated way or we can make little uh, declutter this integral and we can simply write the same thing in a much better way see here it is written as double integral 0 to 2 2 minus x to x plus 2 f of x comma y dy dx now we understand this integral properly let us see how the innermost integral is having 2 minus x and x plus 2 as the limits okay for which variable are they observe the order of the differential it is dy dx dy is the innermost integral hence the innermost uh, dy being the innermost differential sorry uh, hence the innermost integrals limits are for the variable y okay and the outermost differential is dx okay so the outer integral limits are of variable x also remember always 
that the outermost integral will have the projection limits okay whenever the case of double integration is going to be there it's going to be the projection limits okay so outermost integral is having the projection limits now here we have understood our first example this was the main thing regarding this example okay so just let me recall that entirely that whenever we are having a region we always pass a vertical line across that region to check whether it is a type 1 region and follow this procedure and write the double integral for that given particular region okay uh, so this was our first example in our next video lecture we shall see the further examples related to double integral and formulating them properly okay so thanks for joining in and if you have understood the concept please hit like button and share it with the friends and your family members those who can benefit from this okay thank you till then keep solving good amount of mathematics